All right, it is looking better now uh, for Gina Haskell to get the approval to be the next CIA director, the first woman to hold that post, as uh, some key Senate Republicans and a number of top Democrats have said they would be yay votes for the president's choice to head that, including Mark Warner, uh, who has said that he would support her in that effort. Uh, so far, uh, not such a commitment from Republican Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. He joins us right now. Senator, good to see you. Thanks, Dale. I did catch your uh, letter uh, to Ms. Haskell to find out a little bit how she s stands on a couple of key issues. Most people seem to think that, uh, you know, this has to do with torture. Well, actually, your letter addresses uh, far bigger issues. Could you explain? Well, you know, I'm concerned that there are reports that uh, John Brennan, the former head of the CIA under President Obama, that he was cooperating with British intelligence to spy on the Trump campaign. This is a big deal. Now, some are saying, oh, it was just incidentally collected. It's still a big deal. And there is a question. There are some accusations that it was actually ordered by President Obama's administration, either through John Brennan or others. Gina Haspel is the acting director of the CIA. She's high enough up in the CIA. I think we should know what she knows about whether the Trump campaign was surveyed up surveilled upon. We do know that John Brennan, since he's left government, has become an outspoken partisan against the president in very defamatory terms. So, yes, I'm concerned about Gina Haspel being a close acolyte of John Brennan. I am also would like to know from her before she's appointed, if she is indeed appointed, I would like to know what does she know about the surveillance of the Trump campaign and why was the CIA involved? Do you think that uh, she shares uh, former Director Brenner's contempt? I think that she is a close acolyte of John Brennan, so I think uh, some have called her a protege. And I worry that now we've seen John Brennan's stripes. We've seen that he's a uh, dyed in the wool partisan, a hater of Donald Trump. And so I don't want people running our intelligence agencies that have an axe to grind or have some sort of partisanship lurking beneath the surface. So there's many reasons why I oppose her. Number one still is torture, that we shouldn't torture and we shouldn't reward somebody who's in charge of a torture program. Number two, we were sending people to be tortured, the CIA was, sending people to be tortured in Assad, Syria. Now we say Assad is a terrible guy because he gassed his people in all likelihood. Well, we didn't, somebody in the CIA thought he was a great guy because he was so barbarian and would torture people. The problem is about 20% of the people that were tortured were the wrong identity. We got the wrong people. And that just is a mistake in a dark uh, period in our history. And we shouldn't reward someone like Gina Haspel. Um, what do you think of these new revelations now that the North Koreans want out of talks, at least for the time being, with the South Koreans? Some say that is a preview to maybe walking out of upcoming talks with the president. I've always thought it's important that we're talking, but it's also even more important that the South Koreans are talking. So direct talks between North and South Korea are incredibly important. And I think the only way peace comes to the peninsula is when they're actually actively engaged in talks. But I've been encouraged over the last month that there's been more talk than there's been in a long time. All right. So uh, if for some reason the North Koreans are suddenly making a big to do about the joint military exercise we have with the South Koreans. Do you believe that? Or do you believe we should do something to, to address that or what? Well, I think uh, they've, they've in good faith stopped their testing, and that's as far, so far as we can tell. Now, maybe because they've already completed all their testing, but they've at least agreed to stop their nuclear testing. I think not doing military exercises would actually be a show of good faith on our part. Doesn't change anything permanently, but delaying that until after talks, I think, would be a good idea. Um, you know, switching gears again, Senator, much has been made of these comments that a White House aide made concerning John McCain over the whole hospital nomination of all that. Uh, they, they were crude, rude uh, in politics. Many administration people have to come on my air and saying that the same thing. How do you feel about that and whether the administration has done enough to address that? Should she go? What do you think? You know, John McCain and I have had many spirited disagreements, but we actually do agree on torture and Gina Haspel that she shouldn't be nominated to be the head. So I try to find areas of agreement when I can with John McCain, and uh, I think it's uh, something that is obviously inappropriate and should not have been said. Would you fire the person who said it? Uh, if they worked for me. Does it trouble you that she's still on the job? 
Well, you know, I can't control everything. I try to have my hands in a lot of things in Washington, but I can't control all the personnel decisions at the White House. I do think it was inappropriately said, and uh, I do think that uh, when we can find agreement, we should, and when we have disagreements, we should have them, but we should try to not make them personal if possible. Uh, the president's been much more concerned with the leak itself. What did you think of that? Well, it is important that you be able to discuss things behind closed doors and that you not have everything said in public. And so I think they do have a problem with the White House with leaks. Um, but I think they're both the problem, both the insulting nature of what was said and the leak. You know, you, you're pushing, meanwhile, a balanced budget plan. We don't have much of time, but is it your concern here that no matter what you do, they'll just keep spending willy-nilly? Republicans say they are conservative. They say and vote for balanced budget amendments that balance in five years, but then they do the opposite. They vote to bust the budget caps and they give us more and more debt. So I'm putting forward a balanced budget. It balances in five years. It's called the penny plan. We cut one penny of every dollar. This is exceedingly popular with the American public. It's what we say we are for. I'm going to give senators on Thursday a chance to vote on this. It will be a privileged vote. All I right. will get a vote. And conservatives will be put on record whether they are really conservative or not. All right. It makes a lot of sense. I want to have you back to talk about that because it's actually far less painful than people would think. Senator, thank you very much.